I see right now about 15, 20 men, someone off that way. 15, 20 men. What support you saying you need when we already here? So non-Israelites and Israelites alike. So Genesis 1 and 1 told you you were Israelite? That's where it's going. Right, I'm asking you, how did you learn that you are an Israelite? God said, fear him. Is that a commandment or is that a suggestion? So what if the, it's a suggestion? Read it again, read it again. Six and seven years, you ain't shown no fear of God. And because you've shown no fear of God, you haven't grown past where you were six or seven years ago. Because you were still washing clothes on a Sabbath day six, seven years ago. You were breaking the Sabbath six or seven years ago when you found out that you're an Israelite. And you're still doing it today. So where is your growth? So that didn't tell them that they were Israelite. So what told you that you're an Israelite? I'm trying to get to the part where you say we need support. Yet there's tons of Israelites, camps, and groups for you to go and join with over the last six, seven years so that you can be built up and learned. So that I don't have to see you on the Sabbath day saying I'm an Israelite with Christian crosses in your ear. You on the Sabbath day saying I'm an Israelite with no fringes on your clothes after six or seven years. You saying that you're washing clothes on the Sabbath day in a laundromat knowing you ain't supposed to do that on the Sabbath day. So what support are you saying you need? He got cut. He got cut. Cut him up. 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 He got cut. He got. what you're looking at right here I see right now about 15 20 men someone off that way 15 20 men what support you saying you need when we already here yeah how long you been knowing you're Israelite guess what the support started over 30 years ago Bishop Nick Daniel been, been teaching what he teaching for over 30 and it was elders before him and elders before them so when you say we need support, what are you actually saying? Because you've known for seven years. How did you hear? You learned it by yourself? You just picked up a Bible and read it and said, oh, snap, I'm an Israelite. I got you. So how did you learn it? You said you started doing research. So that means you looked at somebody else. So you read the Bible. What, what made you, what did you read in the Bible that made you say, I'm an Israelite? Yeah, but he created everybody, so non-Israelites and Israelites alike. So Genesis 1 and 1 told you you were Israelite? That's where it's going. Right, I'm asking you, how did you learn that you are an Israelite? So you just read in the Bible. What did you read in the Bible that showed you that you're an Israelite? Revelation. Revelation 1? 1 and 14? It started before that, but Revelation is the So give me the one before that. Because Revelation 1 and 14 is in there and there's still a billion people on earth that's Christians. That's right. So that didn't tell them that they was an Israelite. So what told you that you're an Israelite? I'm trying to get to the part where you say we need support. Yet there's tons of Israelites, camps, and groups for you to go and join with over the last six, seven years so that you could be built up and learned. So that I don't have to see you on the Sabbath day saying I'm an Israelite with Christian crosses in your ear. You on the Sabbath day saying I'm an Israelite with no fringes on your clothes after six or seven years. You saying that you're washing clothes on the Sabbath day in a laundromat knowing you ain't supposed to do that on the Sabbath day. So what support are you saying you need? Let me show you the support you need. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Let me show you the support you need, bro. Right now, you've shown no level of fear to the Most High God, and you ought to be happy that the Most High is not taking your life from you at this point. 
It's not different. He's giving you six or seven years of some understanding, and you've done nothing with it. I've understood, but I've ran into false prophets, brother. I've ran into false prophets. It's not about a, it's not about a false prophet. What we reading is straight out of the Bible. That's right. So if you said you read the Bible and understood that you were an Israelite, did you not understand this? Read Deuteronomy chapter ten and verse twelve. And now Israel. But do the Lord thy God require of thee? You said you're an Israelite, right? So the Bible is saying, and now Israel, what's your name again? Jerry. Jerry. Now, Jerry, what does God require of you? Answer that for me. To follow the commandments. Keep the commandments, right? right? Let's see, read. But to fear the Lord. So the first thing you got to do is fear God. Right. Why do I have to be scared? That's something that's supposed to love me. That's the question, brother. There we go. There's the spirit. There it is. God said, fear him. Is that a commandment or is that a suggestion? So what if the, it's a suggestion? Read it again. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Read. And now, Israel, uh -huh. what do the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Lord thy God what? Require what? of thee. Require. Of That's thee. a suggestion or a requirement? a requirement? So a requirement is what? A commandment. Right. Right. It's something you must do. Why must I fear somebody? Because he's telling you to. If you say that you understood from reading the Bible that you're an Israelite, then you understood that God requires something, commands something of the Israelites. Right. The first thing he said is what? And, and fear. But to fear the Lord thy God. You fear God. Why? Because of judgments that God can bring against you. Right. You fear God because God is not only a loving God, he is a God of murder. Right. God will kill you. Right. Right. But in six and seven years, you ain't shown no fear of God. And because you've shown no fear of God, you haven't grown past where you were six and seven years ago. Because you were still washing clothes on the Sabbath day six, seven years ago. Right. You were breaking the Sabbath six or seven years ago when you found out that you're an Israelite. And you're still doing it today. So where is your growth? Where is your growth? You should not be standing here still with us looking at you with no fringes saying that you're at the laundromat on the Sabbath day. Right. What am I doing though? We're doing what? Isaiah 58 and 1. Bring it out. Isaiah 58 and 1. The first thing God said is to fear him. Right. God will kill you. Right. Romans 6 23, the wages of sin is what? Yeah. Is breaking the Sabbath day a sin? Right. So what can God do to you? Kill me. Fire can kill me. Water. So then that's so when you ask why should I have to fear somebody that loves me, love is him killing you. Right. right. To keep you out of this. Right. That is love. Right. People get it backwards, bro. And that's why you still got Christian crosses in your ear, because you still Christian in mentality. You're saying you're an Israelite, but you're showing me Christian. Because there's no way in the world you'd have idols like Christian crosses in your ear, knowing you're an Israelite six, seven years down the line. I know. But you idolizing the white man right now with them crosses in your ear. Bring it out. You absolutely it out. are. You're idolizing the white man right now with no fringes on your clothes knowing you an Israelite. Right. You're idolizing and keeping his kingdom going right now by spending money for him on the Sabbath day. Right. You're keeping his kingdom going. So you are dealing in full idolatry and your mind don't even see it yet. Because you got to come and get with brothers that are there to correct you when you're going off. Right. We have something. For us to support. What are we? I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm saying as a, as a nation. We are a nation. What yeah. are we? That's right. You've got something to and support. I don't have money to give, brother. But nobody asked you for no money, bro. Yeah. We just said, what did the Lord thy God require of thee? Yeah. Fearing God. That's right. And keeping his commandments. Right. right. That don't pay us no money. Right. right. I keep the commandments. None of us out here work on the Sabbath day. Why? Because we're not worried about the money. Right. right. So it ain't about no money, bro. It's about saving your soul and doing what God commanded you to do six or seven years ago. That's right. 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 Are you not a man? Are you? Are you not a flesh? I'm a hundred percent, man, because the Bible says that because I fear God and keep his commandments, as a male, it makes me a man. Right. According right. to the scriptures. I'm absolutely a hundred percent male. I'm alpha male. Right. Right. Yes, I'm flesh. Was Jesus Christ flesh? So then what is your point? Why must I fear somebody? That because the Bible told you to. That's right. You fear the judgments of God so that you stay in order. Right. When, you're, when you was little, if your daddy told you to cut the grass and you didn't cut it, what would happen? Huh? So you don't think God is the same? Yes. So then why did you fear your daddy? 
Yes, because you knew you was going to get in trouble, so you got your behind out there and cut the grass. Right. If he said clean your room, you did it because you knew a butt whipping was coming with your disobedience. Right. Right. You don't fear God. You don't believe God is real because you don't believe God will punish you for going against what he's told you to do. That's right. That is true. It's showing in all your actions. Right now, you knowing that the cross is an idol, you ought to snatch them out of your ears and toss them. Hey, right no, now, bro. Because that's idolatry. Is idolatry sin? Yeah. So you ought to toss them damn crosses. Yeah. You shouldn't even have them in your house. Right. The Bible say don't even bring idols in your house. That's right. You got them in your ear walking around on your person. So how you think your spirit is if you got idolatry on you? What you think is in your spirit? What am I saying? Answer the question. If you got idols on your ears, what's in your spirit? Idolatry. That's why you ask him the question as to why I should fear God. Bring it out, huh? What? Men that men that have some understanding don't question why they must fear God. Because they understand. You understood the scripture, Romans 6:23. The wages of sin is. You understand that. That's why we fear God, because he can kill us. He gave us life, he can kill us. He do what he wanted to do. That's why you fear God. Did your parents not give you life too? My parents, my parents had sex, conceived me. I was born into the earth. Guess when I got life? When I found the truth of the Bible. Hey, I was hey. a walking dead man like I'm looking at right now. I was a walking dead man. I had no life in me because life is not about the time that I live on this earth. It's about what goes on with my soul when I leave this earth. Right. When Christ returns, what's going to happen with my That's life, bro. Not you walking around here eating, uh, breathing, fighting, laughing, dancing, joking. None of that's life, bro. Right. Life is the keeping of the commandment. That's right. right. Give me what I asked for. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. As a matter of fact, jump down to verse 13 first. Give me 13 first. Verse 13. Uh -huh. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath day. Wait, so slow down. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot uh -huh. from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on the holy day. If we turn our foot from doing our own pleasures on the holy day. What's today? What does the Bible call it? It's just, today is the Sabbath. That's right. So the Bible says if I let go of all of my own personal stuff on this day and call the Sabbath a delight. And be happy that today is the Sabbath day. Right. The ho the holy of the Lord honors thee. Uh huh. And shall honor. And shall honor him. Now doing thy own way. And how are we honoring God? Are we honoring God right now? Yes, because now go to verse one. Show you how we honoring God. Read that. Verse one. Cry aloud. Uh huh. Spare not. So what are we doing right now? Am I sparing you right now? I'm not sparing you because you got six, seven years in your pocket of knowing that you're an Israelite and you ain't doing nothing God told you to do. That idolatry in your mind is going to kill you, bro. It's going to kill you and you're not going to see the kingdom. But see, if you was around us, you'd speak boldly. I, I got you, but listening is, is, is a back and forth conversation when it comes to teaching. You understand what I'm saying? I got you, but... You've been a sponge for six years. You've been a sponge, ain't did nothing for you. Now you need to be somewhere around people that's going to force you to look at yourself and change your behavior. Right. Because your behaviors are going to get you killed. Right. You're supposed to be a sheep. Yeah. I'm going to break it out. I follow, I follow the... the, 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 the Hold that. Hold it. You can I'm drop not, the dude around I'm not, me. I'm not saying what's wrong. No, I, I, I got you. I got you. Wrong. I got you. I, I've, I've had Give me John I've chapter 1. Uh, John chapter 1 verse 29. Give me that. I had my fair share of false prophets. It made me walk. Say it again. I said I've had my fair share of false prophets. I got you. I don't understand why you keep bringing up false prophets. Are you accusing me of being a false prophet? Okay. I got you. But how do you know the difference in a false prophet and a real one? Bring it out! Huh? I asked the question. I didn't ask you about opening your eyes. How do you know the difference in a real prophet and a false one? See? 
Read that, John 129. This is the book of John, chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John see of Jesus coming into him and saying, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So Christ was called a lamb. You said you're not a what? What is a lamb? Damn. Are you following Christ, bro? Because you said you're not a sheep. Give me Matthew 15, 24. But what's blind about that's why I said when you keep bringing up false prophets, you actually accusing me. That's what you, you just said it. Because right now I'm not blind. I am leading blind, but I'm not blind. I'm opening your eyes to the truth of what's going on with you, and you still ain't removed them Christian crosses out your ear yet. Read that. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he, as it is said, uh -huh. I am not sent. Christ said, I am not sent. But and to the lost sheep. To the lost who? The lost sheep. The lost who? Sheep. Brother, you said you ain't a sheep. So Christ ain't for you. Man. Read. I'm not sent into the I am not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. If you are a true Israelite, you a sheep. Right. Because that's what God calls us in the Bible. That's right. sheep. He is the good shepherd. He's the one that leads us. That's right. We're his sheep. Right. So when you claim not to be a sheep, bro, you claim it not to be of God. Right. Get out. Give me first John. First John chapter four. Start at verse one. When you claim not to be a sheep, you claim not to be of God, bro. Right. And right now, now I don't have to question why I see what I see in you. Because you're not a sheep. You're right. You ain't following nothing that the shepherd said. Get out. Nothing. And that ought to be a shame to you. Uh, you should be so shamed that right now you should be removing them Christian crosses from your ear. Read, read again. Read that. First John chapter 4 verse 1. On, Beloved, believe not every spirit. So right now the Bible commands me to not believe every spirit. Meaning everybody that walks up to me and says I'm an Israelite, the Bible say, nope, don't believe what they say. Read. But try the spirits. But try that spirit. How do I try a spirit? By giving them the scriptures and seeing that where their understanding is and whether or not they're willing to change the things that they're showing. Nation is men leading by example. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.